what is up y'all i have missed y'all so much and i'm so glad to see you i'm glad that you're here because this is the premiere of season three of sunny and the show so what do you do but the really cool thing is i got to do my broadcast from a different kind of location i uh don't have my usual hat on. Don't have my usual sweatshirt on. So this episode is so special that I just figured of all the things in the world that we need to do something completely different. Break the mold, you know, fly out, take off running real fast and fly off the planet. You know, there's there's a whole bunch of things we can do. Um, this goodness gracious and the whole thing. I have been busting my behind all day. I thought I was caught up and I thought I was all ready to go. So I went to bed last night thinking, oh, this, I got this all good. I woke up this morning. I had about 18,342 calls. And they said, you need this, you need that, you need this, you need that, you need this. And I thought, freak a manga. So what do you do? It's a, it's a really weird, super duper thing that, uh, I don't know, I just been busting my mind all day long. And I tell you something, it's all worth it. It all pays off because now you and I we're here together. We're having some fun. But I just to kick things off, I just figure, you know, what what do you do? Um how do you do that? <coughs> I'm not quite sure, but kicking things off, I'm trying to think of some uh, some you know, some good old fashioned pranks that won't hurt anybody. I'm trying to think of some, you know, just just a whole lot of stuff. I'm I'm thinking about let's let's communicate, let's get together, let's let's run this deal. I'm a quarterback this deal, but I need you as a linebacker to tell me exactly what you need. My old coach used to tell me all the time, plow the field. <laughs> so you have your fence line that just plow the field. And they allow your and they allow everybody else to just just go go. <laughs> just take off running. And um if you watch the movie Hoosiers or it's a basketball movie, I can't make some metaphors, but something that he said that was so funny. You know, we're gonna do we're gonna do, we're gonna run the picket fence on these guys. Don't get caught watching the pain dry. And that's, isn't that kind of funny? That's, I think that's extra spectacular. So, uh, you and me, we're gonna, we're gonna be here together. And I'm gonna do every single thing I can do um, to make this longer season, make this longer episodes. But, you know, I can't tell you how glad I am that, um, <laughs> you're here with me and uh so, uh, absolutely there's there's comments i think the comments would be right down in that area somewhere right there leave a comment uh, just say hey this is what i'd like to see you do and i'm not gonna do something stupid set myself on fire one guy suggested that i eat a car i'm not gonna do that crap uh i am gonna do something funny and i am gonna do something really funny. I had to cut, uh, kind of last season I cut that short because I, um, got a little bit too attached to my golf cart and, um, didn't, uh, they, they took my golf cart away for reasons that were probably out of my control, but you know what? I can't be mad about it because now I got my good old friends. Oh my goodness, there's my dog over there in the corner. He's he's asleep. You can hear him snoring just at, at random. But uh, yeah, here we are. Some side of I think we're getting getting up on five thirty a.m. I'm not even I'm not even tired in the least. But uh, yeah, I I'm just super excited. Uh, I'm just shooting from the hip right now because I don't even know where we're gonna go. I'm gonna get some ideas and I'm gonna get some 
your plan together. But, you know, the really funny thing about that is, I've never had a plan for anything in my whole life. Someone asks me, well, why did you do that? And I tell them, I just wanted to see what it looked like. Um, it's, a, it's, it's kind of an old funny joke that I got from a movie that I saw with uh, Mr. Sutherland and Mr. Harrelson. And uh, it was, it, when he said, oh, you, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't do that. And uh, Woody looked up and said, oh, I'd do it to see what it looked like. And I've been kind of saying a version of that for a long time, but that just kind of put it all into the best perspective for me. But uh, I will be going back in a couple of days. I'm probably going to be going back to my good old fashioned uh, orange sweatshirt, and my hat, and everything else. But, you know, for right now, let's just sit here and be nice. Be cool because this is episode one. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm telling you, it's it's really funny. I had a little frustrated or whatever, so I couldn't think of a way to get all my products taken care of and done and uh, photographed and you know, just tell you know, put them out there. But uh, anybody that knows, I'm not gonna say the name of it right now, but anybody that knows, knows that I. Uh, I do have a merch store that I sell stuff on, and um, I don't. It's it's you know, It's early. I don't know if I want to. I don't know if I want to tell people how connected I am to that right now. But it's uh, it's absolutely fun. I got I got all my finally had you know all pictures taken care of, it. and it's just you know kind of having fun doing my thing. I love that. Uh, I absolutely love that. Um, the place where you usually see me uh, hanging out at is my office that is in side of Universal uh, Entertainment, Universal Modeling. Uh, by one name and then change the name to something else. What I call it is probably not what it is. But, uh, yeah, on the, right here in the good old-fashioned outskirts of, uh, Albion. And, tell you what, you're gonna love it. But, <laughs> really crazy thing. Really funny, I was, I was there, and, uh, I still do work there part-time. And, and one of the guys I work with, he looked at me and he goes, Hey, Sonny. And I went, Hey, what? And he goes, Hey, Sunday, and I was just walked off. <laughs> yeah, I have, you know, I have that. I'm not going to play that game <laughs> as much as uh, anybody would think. But it was, it was so kind of funny. Um, but hopefully, uh, one of my goals right now is I want to just go to Oh, just like last season. That was my trademark, was the, was the yawn. But, um, yeah, one of my goals is to um, leave one and go to the other full time. And hopefully I can do it within the next ASAP. I did, I got my pictures done. I got everything done, so I'm, I'm not near as behind as you would think. But that's pretty cool too. And, you know, kind of enjoying having the day off from there and uh, just cleaning house, you know, just doing random little weird things. And I kind of, <laughs> I kind of like it. And everybody asks me why, you know, why would you like clean house so much? And it's, it's just funny because um, it's calming. That's nice. Um, I got the, I got the funniest words, the look, uh, look uh, the look and, uh, you know, the, the shaking head concern look. My, uh, twin sister is so funny. Um, she, she just, sometimes she just doesn't like, I don't know. But, 
uh, above anybody else in the world, uh, she understands kind of what's in my head before, you know, it's out of my mouth. And she's, she's amazing because of the fact that, um, I love hanging out with her. And, uh, of course she lives down the road from here and I don't see her as much as I'd like to, but I try to talk to her every day. And, um, I just I love her a lot, and uh, maybe I'll maybe I'll throw her a shout out one of these days. Anybody that sees her can run up and you know uh, say hi to her. That might be a nice idea, but you know, there's that the the main the main joke between her and I is uh, she's. You know, was she four and a half, four and a half minutes older than me? And she has never let me forget it in my whole life. Every single time that something goes off, she always manages to, uh, to remind me. And, uh, I remind her of, uh, you know, uh, other things. And, um. And when I asked her the other day, I said, you know, what do you, what do you say about a, um, man who, uh, wears big shoes? And she gave me a really funny answer. I said, I guess that means he just has big feet. <laughs> and I thought, I thought that was kind of funny. Um, I don't know. I have no idea, but, uh, yeah, it for me. I don't know, um, I'm really looking forward to, to this season, I'm really looking forward to uh, a lot of things, and I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to yawn at least one episode, once every episode, but um, I'm going to try to make it uh, every day, I think, uh, I think that's kind of a cool, you know, 15, 20 minutes something like that 20 minutes an episode doesn't sound like it'd be all that hard um just get something just get something out there because i love doing this i, I just i love it so much and uh that gives, that gives me the opportunity to get to know y'all talk to y'all and um uh, the really neat thing was that someone saw me um there's just really awesome uh seafood place down um uh, down from the Fremont area and uh I like to go down there just got that dog snoring but I like to go down to that seafood restaurant all the time and someone stopped me and um you know they asked me they you know they recognized me from season two and they they were just like, hey, uh, when are you getting back on the air? When are you doing this? So um, I didn't really catch those those guys' names. And they looked like they were fun. And they're probably like, uh, you know, playing sports down at UNLV or something like that. But, you know, everybody, everybody is welcome in my world. I got room for all of us. And, uh, that's, that's, that's the most fun part of it. But, the, the, really, this, this right here is a cool part. And then the really super duper cool part is getting to know people and getting to see people and getting to talk to people and just, uh, just generally being dumb. And, um, I was kind of thinking about what would happen. I might, I might take you guys with me at one point down to, uh, down to Paradise, Nevada, you know, down to, maybe down to, uh, downtown, um, there's, <laughs> there's a really cool apartment building, uh, that's, I don't know why, every time I drive by it, I just look at it, I'm like, wouldn't it be cool to just film a movie right there, and it's really neat, um, really neat kind of place, um, but I always, I always kind of picture that must be where, that must be where super the superheroes live. They live in that little community right there. 
don't know. That's, that's kind of a weird thing to think of, but, um, I have heard rumors about people that live down there and inside the building that, uh, they're kind of cool that have, um, they have channels of their own. But this, this day and age is so super cool because we can all have our own channel. We can all do, do whatever we want. And, uh, it was something that was kind of neat was when I started doing season one, I just had a lot on my mind. I had a lot of stuff going on. And it, uh, I just got on there. It's kind of like a journal deal. Um. And, um, I got to, I got to work, kind of liked it. And then, after, um, I did so many episodes that first time, and I just quit. I was just like, one day I just like, don't want to. And, uh, and I figured, well, it's about time I need to start that up. So, the funny thing is, about the, about the time that every single episode starts up, I get to the point where I'm like, I really need... I need something, and that ends up being you guys, and that's the really fascinating thing is, I might just start a telethon, you know, uh, I might just take up, you know, right after right behind Jerry Lewis, and, you know, send some, uh, you know, send some donations to the Human Fund, because I need some funds, and I'm human, <laughs> Sorry, that's a old silly joke that I took from uh, oh, that show, that one show. Anyhow, don't I don't even know. Um, I've got all kinds of things going on in my mind right now. Anyway, anywhere from snow sledding down to like um, banana splits. What? Why? What? What happened? What? What's? What's going on? I don't know, but um, I think my best bet would be to get up and get running. You know, hit the road, as the old man says. Um, do I have time to get some rest? But I love y'all. And I think y'all were hanging out with me, even though uh, I've been running, running on the mouth of blah, blah, blah. blah. <laughs> I've been rambling on for a few minutes now, so I thank y'all for staying, hanging out with me, and uh, you know I'm looking forward. We're gonna have a we're gonna have a spectacular season, and uh, you know let's let's get this stuff together. I haven't had as much of a collaboration type idea before, but I think we should definitely should. But yeah, this season I'm gonna do what I can to get eighty. 80 uh signing the show i'm gonna throw out um probably a few 10 15 of uh you know of sunny in the dark or <laughs> sunny after dark little little, little. and um you know try to see what we can do about that and i think there's an issue that i'm i'm contemplating that's just called S sunny Ha ha ha, got you that time, didn't I? Yeah, I'm gonna keep working on it. If I didn't, I believe I will. But, uh, uh, I can't tell you. I love you guys. I appreciate y'all more than you ever know. But, uh, like I said before, we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna have, we're gonna have lots of fun. We're just gonna do crazy, crazy, crazy shit tough stuff that we uh you know so whatever comes to our mind <laughs> whatever comes up we're gonna be there but uh appreciate y'all a lot a a lot <laughs> uh, a lot but y'all better behave yourselves if you can't behave <laughs> you know then you know fake it for a little while then eh, there's that but be good be very good be excellent and as this movie once said 
you know, party on. <laughs> Sorry, this uh, old joke that I was just making. But right here, I have to say this because this premiere, so I've done my cheek and my eye right here. My cheek and my eyebrow. There's something between these two things. It's the eye and the mouth.